So walking exposed in an open area like that, get from one boundary to another. You have all these rocks on you uh, that you can utilize, utilize them. So the long hallway and the guy came in, almost a guy, like a, on that, the guy on the left should be holding long and the guy on the right makes a dynamic around the t to cover the uh, corner. Good teamwork. So you just made it, a, you just threw a crash in and then you're gonna hang outside the door. There's no reason, from my opinion, that you couldn't get into the door because you didn't take advantage of that stun. Pieing it is if you actually don't have the surprise. Good job, peel left, hold along. Now he should not be going in. Should not be going in since it's a one man entry. He said there, hold the door, but if he wants to go in it, you need a second person. All right, the immediate right past the crate is no factor. Good use. I like the communication. I like how they're creeping up. They're, they're taking s small chunks, which are opening up their field of vision. I think the, the point of view that we're actually looking at, he's overexposed right now. Like he's actually giving the bad guys an advantage because of the angle versus sucking up onto that cement column there. As long as he's checked what's back into his left, he can actually suck up on that column and actually give himself, um, oh, there we go, okay. So in a position like that, some guy can come up and pin, everybody hauls, he, the, the second last guy can set up, turn around, and then you just leapfrog back that way, rather than taking a couple steps, turn around, take a couple steps, turn around. Remember that tunnel on the left we bypassed? I like their spacing in between each other in their train as they're moving down. Max effectiveness of like a grenade is like five yards, and they're spacing themselves out within that, so if a bad guy were to toss something, they're not gonna take out everybody. So that's really good. Get out of that doorway. That door frame is constricting him. Get into and down the sides. Probably not the best to stop and check, like, on the, up on the stairwell in a lighted area. Maybe do that in the shadows. Give me that split again on that right wall, where it was on the right originally. Copy, I'm gonna move over to the right. So why would you run over to the right, right underneath a spotlight in the middle of the night? Utilize your shadows. If you see something that you think could be a potential threat, you light it up, and then when you realize it's not, you turn it off and keep walking. Otherwise, you're just pointing out where you are to the bad guys. Don't jump the stack, hit the wall. Unless it's specifically they're exiting to the right, then it makes sense. But nobody's covering left. Everybody's got their weapons pointed forward. Finally, one gentleman. Nine mil point man, what do you mean? Nine mil point man, that's awful. Because all your spaces, all your, these areas that you're going into are so vast. Why would you be clearing, why would you be leading with a pistol when everybody else has rifles, that's stupid. What they're doing is about 80% right. That, that initial entry into those two rooms, it's a very quick pause, wait till the second guy gets on you, make the entry, good, continuing on. Then you can get through there very quickly. Yeah, all right, one more is all needed. Right. All right, push, push, push. So that's where you should actually have somebody hold that corner and look up there, and then as everybody gets up and they clear it, then you call that person up. But don't leave it, because if you know that, they know that. All right, we're out in the main yellow hanger. Copy, we're, we're on out. your left. We're on your left. There's dead space on our right. Can you see that? So they're on the left. They should hold. There you go. Everybody else comes out. They join, and then they push through. Very good. The guy on the right should be holding long, not turn around looking at the truck. Copy. We're going to strong wall the left side of this exit, okay? So I think we still have one guy on the right holding long. Yes, there should be guys on the left holding on, holding long as well because all those different angles from around those objects over there, anybody can pop out. Like you're literally just hanging out against a wall of a building exposed. Get behind the truck. Utilize that red structure or inside the mill van. All right, I'm checking right and then I'm going to check left. Good use of high angles, good use of finding employment for yourself. Yeah, see the extraction zone? I'm going to push through the uh, cement block around the corner here. You make me nervous just sitting there. 